हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू वन मोर न्यू वीडियो ऑफ लर्न इट एंड विदाउट वेस्टिंग मोर ऑफ योर टाइम लेट गेट स्टार्टेड सो विद एन हेल्दी माइंड सेट लेट एस स्टार्ट यूनिट फाइव ऑफ क्लास नाइन्थ द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज द फंडामेंटल यूनिट ऑफ लाइफ टॉपिक थ्री सो नाउ लेट एस डिस्कस वॉट इज द सेल ऑर्गेनल्स इट इज बेसिकली ऑल द कंपोनेंट्स और द पार्ट्स विच आर परफॉर्मिंग डिफरेंट एक्टिविटीज इन साइड द सेल्स to keep the cell alive and functionable is known as cell organelles these are of different kinds and these part name has been given below the sequence is that golgi apparatus endoplasmic reticulum ribosomes mitochondria centrosomes and centrioles plastids lysosomes and vacuoles the denotation has been given in the diagram also you can easily find out which organelle is looking like which in a cell so let us talk about the first organelle which is known as the golgi apparatus now you can easily see in the diagram where the golgi apparatus is present like a orange section or a bread like structures which is known as golgi bed body now what golgi body is it consists of membrane bound which means it has been bound by membrane from all side it also contains fluid vesicles inside it vacuoles are also there and it contains closed sacs means flattened cisternae this cisternae are usually arranged parallel to each other which means it is arranged one upon another now what is the basic function of this golgi apparatus is that to store and modify the packaging and it helps in the dispatching the substance within the cell and the next is it also helps in the synthesis of cell wall of a cell the plasma membrane of the cell and also helps in the synthesis or the making of lysosomes this is basically the function of the golgi apparatus the next topic will be taking of the cell organel will be the endoplasmic reticulum you can easily see the green structure around the nucleus of a cell is consisting of endoplasmic reticulum the green structure now what is it it is a membrane network of tube like structures which has been extending from the nuclear membrane to the plasma membrane and has been surrounded around the nucleus now it is basically absent in the prokaryotic cells and present in mature rbcs which means red blood corpuscles of the mammals now basically endoplasmic reticulum is of two types the first is known as rer which means rough endoplasmic reticulum and the second one is known as ser which means smooth endoplasmic reticulum the main difference is we'll be talking about ribosome as a cell organelle in our next topic or the third topic so if ribosome is present on the endoplasmic reticulum it is known as rough endoplasmic reticulum and if ribosome is absent it means it is known as smooth endoplasmic reticulum first rough endoplasmic reticulum helps in the synthesis or the manufacturing of proteins and smooth endoplasmic reticulum helps in the secretion or the formation of lipids now we'll be talking about the functions of the endoplasmic reticulum the first is it gives the support to the cell which means it helps in creating the support or for giving the support to the cell the second is it helps in the transport of various different kinds of substances from the nuclear membrane to the plasma membrane which means basically it is surrounded around the nucleus so it helps in the entry and exit or the transport of the material from inside the nucleus to the outside of the cytoplasm or the plasma membrane third is rer help in the protein and ser help in the lipids which means rough endoplasmic reticulum help in the synthesis and transportation of proteins and smooth endoplasmic reticulum with help in the synthesis and transportation of lipids both the things will work differently now we'll be moving on to our third organelle which is known as the ribosomes and as we also have seen this word in our next previous slide which is the rough endoplasmic reticulum and the second is the smooth endoplasmic reticulum in which we have talked about the ribosome if it is present it is rer if it is not it is known as ser so these ribosomes are very small 
and dense spherical bodies which occur freely in the matrix of the cytosols and sometimes it is attached to the endoplasmic reticulum of the cell organelles. Next what it is made up of it is basically made up of ribonucleic acid which is known as RNA and some other kinds of the proteins. Now what is the function of the ribosome is that they play a major role in the function of protein synthesis. That's why in the rough endoplasmic reticulum it plays the function of synthesizing the proteins. Now let us move to one of the important and the most renowned topic which is known as the mitochondria which will be known by many of the students. So the first thing how it look like is small road shape organelle which means it looks like a burger you, you can easily say that. Now second topic is it is double membrane structure which means it has been surrounded by two membranes. One is outer one will be smooth and porous which means many of the things can enter and exit whereas inner membrane has been converted into different kinds of folds which is known as cristae. Now they also contain their own DNA and ribosomes so this is the speciality of the mitochondria and the last thing what they are absent in is is the bacteria and the RBCs which means red, red blood corpuscles of the mammals which means in red RBCs of the blood. And the mitochondria as we all know what it does is it helps in the production of energy which means it helps in the production of ATP. Now what ATP is ATP is the energy currency which is also known as adenosine triphosphate. Now we will be moving on to the functions of these mitochondria. The first is they are the site of cellular respiration which means the respiration or the production of energy from the food we have taken and the oxygen we have collected. The main function of them is coming to here at the mitochondria center and to do the cellular respiration which means to provide the certain kind of energy for the vital activities which we will be doing in the later time. Next it also helps to store the energy released during the reaction and converted into the form of energy which is known as ATP which is also known as the energy currency of the cell therefore they are also called as the power house of the cell which we have already discussed earlier. So now let us start our fifth topic which is the centrosomes and the centrioles these are present at the time of the cell division. So centrosome is found only in the eukaryotic type of animal cells and it is not bound by any membrane but consists some of the centrioles. Now what is a centriole is they are the hollow cylindrical structures arranged at right angles to the each other and made up of micro tubules. Now what are the functions of the centrosome and centrioles are it helps in the cell division and also helps in the formation of two things which is the cilia and the flagella. Now we will be talking about the sixth topic of the cell organelle which is the plastids. Now these are present in most of the plant cells and always absent in animal cell which means plastid will not be present in any of the animal cells. Now why, how does it look like is basically spherical or discoid shape which means in the form of a disc. It has double membrane which means it has been bounded by inner and outer membrane. Third will be they also have their own DNA and the ribosomes as we have discussed in mitochondria. Now plastids are of three types the first is the chloroplast the second one is the chromoplast and third one will be the leucoplasts. The first chloroplast is always green colored that's why many of the plants are of green color only. The second is chromoplast they are colorful but it does not include the green color because the green color is present in chloroplast. The last one will be the known as leucoplast. They don't have any kind of color that's why it is called as the colorless plastids. Now let us talk about the chloroplast. It is the main manufacturing body which help in the process of or the formation of photosynthesis and the formation of energy by the plants with the help of the sunlight and the water and carbon dioxide also. Now let us talk about the function of the plastid. The first is solar energy and helps in utilizing or to manufacture food of the plant which is in the form of the sugars. The second chromoplast helps in 
attracting the insects for the pollination because due to the chromoplast it has different kinds of color to attract the insects for the pollination the last one will be the leucoplast and it helps in the storage of different kinds of foods in the form of starch proteins and the fats now let us move to the seventh point which is the lysosome which is also known as the cell organelles lysosomes are very small spherical sac like structures and containing several different kinds of digestive enzymes which help in the digestion of different organelles of the cells or the individual cell also and it has been enclosed in a different kind of membrane now they are found in eukaryotic cells and mostly in the animal cell now what is the function of lysosome is that it helps in the digestion of foreign substance if some of the foreign substance come inside the cell then the lysosomes will work and it also helps in the digestion of the cell organelles which are worn out or which have been damaged inside the cell next it also provide protection against any of the bacteria and viruses invading inside the cell it also helps to keep the things clean so that all the waste material will be taken out by these lysosomes and the last is during the disturb disturbance in cellular metabolism for example when the cell gets damaged the lysosome may burst and the enzymes digest their own cell therefore lysosomes are also known as the suicidal bags of the cell which means they can suicide on then their own with the help of this lysosomes because it contains the digestive enzymes now let us move to the next topic which is the topic at vacuoles which is also known as the cell organelles now vacuoles are sometimes liquid filled and solid filled and which has been bound by different membranes and in plant cells when we are comparing the size the vacuoles are larger and permanent and in animal cells it is small size and it is temporary which means they will not be present for a whole lot of a time the next is in mature plants it occupies 90% of the spaces basically this vacuoles is present more in plant cells and very less in animal cells the next is due to its large size other organelles including the nucleus shift toward the plasma membrane in just the plant cell we are talking about this diagram and this diagram is of plant cell only and all the other diagram we have seen is from the animal cell now what is the function of the vacuoles is that they help to maintain the osmotic pressure of the cell which means the outer pressure and inner pressure should be equal and they help in the maintaining of them which is known as the osmotic pressure which we will be studying further. The next is they provide turgidity and rigidity to the plant which means the plant cell can expand and then contract also with the help of these vacuoles and what the mean of turgidity is it helps in the structure position or giving the solid structure position to the plant now we have moved to the last topic of this whole chapter which is known as the peroxisomes now what is peroxisome is they are small spherical organelles which contains very powerful oxidative enzymes now what is meaning of oxidative it means it helps in the detoxification or removal of toxic substance from the cell they are bounded by only single membrane and always found in kidney and liver cells so this is the importance of this let us talk about the functions it has a special very special kind of functions it carry out oxidative reaction which means detoxification which, which means removal of toxic substance from the cell if any of the toxic substance answer enters inside the body or has been manufactured inside the cell of an plant or animals I hope you might have understood these topics very well. If not, I urge all of you to again repeat the video and watch it again. You can also note this topic down as your notes so that you don't have to refer the books. We at Learn It are working hard to bring you all the easy and simple learning materials which can enhance your learning and listening capabilities. If you are finding hard to understand any of the topic or want to know something in detail, you can comment your questions down below in the comment section. If you like our work, please give it a thumbs up and if you want to get updated of our new videos, do subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you don't miss any updates from the channel. For more of such kind of updates, stay tuned to the channel, stay healthy, stay safe and fit. Bye-bye.